Um, guys, what we're asking us to, what they're asking us to do in this case, is to determine if my triangle ABC is congruent to triangle KLM. Now, before I can even make any sense of this problem, I have coordinate points. I'm going to want to plot those coordinate points to be able to kind of see what exactly I'm looking at. So, since we have coordinate points, we're going to want to plot these. All right. So before you decide, hey, I can do this, or I can't do this, or I don't know what to do next, let's at least plot the points and label them. So A is going to be negative 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 2, and label them. B is negative 4, 1, oh, positive 1, and C is negative 1, negative 1. OK, so that's my one triangle. And then the next thing that I want to be able to do is take a look at k, which is at 0, negative 2, 0, uh, 0, 1, and then m4, comma 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, comma 1. OK, and what they're asking us to do is to prove that these triangles are congruent or not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know that this side length is 2, right? Up 1, and then actually, I'm sorry, it's 3. Right? We know that this side length is 1, 2, 3 as well. But remember, for them to be congruent, all the lengths, all the sides of the triangles have to be equal, and all the angle measures have to be equal. Now, the angles are going to be a little bit more difficult for us to be able to prove by graphing this. But you guys can see the next length here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Is there another length? You guys can see 1, 2, 3. Is there one of these lengths that's as long as 4 for this triangle? No, because to go even to get to my last point, which is C, I'm only going a distance of 1, 2, and 3. So the farthest any point is away from each other is 3. So therefore, it's impossible for these two angles to be congruent. So therefore, they are not congruent. All right. So that's how you do numero dos.